Welcome back to Terpy Eyes. I'm Ryan, and we're going to take a look at the Mars Hydro FC4800 LED Grow Light. As a disclaimer, Mars Hydro did provide this light for me to test and give my honest opinion on. They also provided a discount code for my viewers to use on their website at checkout, which is Terpy Eyes. So be sure to use it to save yourself some money, as prices are a little bit better on their website compared to Amazon. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. So let's get into unboxing the light. First impressions is that it is packaged well in a plain cardboard box, so no worries about people knowing what you ordered. As you can see, it comes with the ratcheting rope straps for hanging the unit, a sheet of stickers, instructions, and the user manual. The light needs to be unfolded, which is a great design. Then it's up to you to choose where you want to hang the driver, either on the light or in a remote location. For my situation, I like to keep everything inside the tent, so mount the driver on the light is best for me. After that, it's just one cable to connect the light to the driver, then it's ready to be hung in the grow tent. If you're new to the channel, I'll upload videos every week covering indoor and outdoor grows, solventless extractions, products, and equipment. So if that's what you're into, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out when I post new content. The Mars Hydro FC4800 LED light features both Samsung and Osram diodes, which is the industry standard currently for the lights in this class, providing a full spectrum, high intensity light for your plants throughout their entire life cycle. A great feature this light also has is that it is able to be daisy chained up to 15 other lights, which allows you to control all connected lights from a single location. We are installing this light in a Mars Hydro 4x4 tent, which is the size they recommend for this light on their website. Overall, unboxing, setting up, and hanging the light was very easy and pretty fast while doing it alone. The build quality feels good and sturdy. The aluminum body also provides cooling fans allowing the light to stay cool while being on for many hours. Now that we have taken a good look at the features and how it looks, we can start the PAR test. This is just to give you an idea of the PAR output at several levels. A more accurate way could be done for sure, but this is just how I'm doing it so you can see. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this video or found it at all helpful so far, hit that like button. It really goes a long way in supporting the channel and helping us grow. 